All right. Just Sky Goggles, Budget Magic, playing Abzan for the millionth time in a row. Not really. Just feels like it. Lots of people on Abzan these days. Well, Roast should come in handy in this matchup. Just Guy Charms, not as much. I guess it's fine with like Courser or something, but. Well, I guess we just Tormenting Voice pitch pitching at Just Guy Charm. It's not bad because we're at least fueling our graveyard for future digs and cruises. Which hopefully will find us what we want for this matchup. Abzan Charm draws a couple for our opponent. What do they have? There's a Courser. Revealing a Temple. And another temple on top. So I'm sort of tempted just to Jeskai, Jeskai charm this Courser. But then they just replay it and play the temple off the top. So maybe it makes more sense to roast the Courser. Play a mountain and... Tormenting Voice pitching Swift Water Cliffs into Goggles and Land. Okay, so we have our Dig and Cruise online. We also have a Goggles. So we'll see what our opponent does. We don't really want them to resolve Elspeth. Rhino puts us down to 20. Well, now I think we just need the goggles to set up for the future. Where we can double Jeskai Charm, or worst case, we start digging to find some action. And digging to find action isn't that bad of a worst case, in all honesty. And since our opponent is playing a tap land, they can't play Elspeth, so that is good. And passing, sweet. Wins card, Craig. How many cards in the graveyard? We have five. So we can dig and leave up three mana. Is that right, or do we just want to cruise so we can have more blue mana available? That might just be better right now. Because we want to leave up the ability to cast Jeskai Charm if we need to. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Howl of the Horde in multiple lands. Alright, so we'll just play Windscarred Craig. Or, yeah. Play Windscarred Craig, pass the turn. See what our opponent does. As much as I don't like putting Siege Rhino on top, we might have to. I don't think we have to do it right now, though, but we might have to eventually. Opponent goes with Thought Seize. We would really like a card draw spell. Well, they didn't even take the dig. They must have another discard spell. I guess they're just going to try to kill us before we get there. Wild Slash. Hmm. Well, I guess... Uh, I guess we can try to double Wild Slash and Offenza. See if there's a Dramoka's Command to counter it. Looks like no. 
Then we'll just play the Reef, pass the turn. Actually, we can do that. Oh, no, we can't. Well, yeah. Let's just play Howl of the Horde. And then dig through time twice. Which is pretty sweet. Not as good as three digs, which we could have done with the goggles, but two digs is still a lot of digs. Uh, so we get Anger of the Gods. And another dig? Yeah, Anger of the Gods and a dig. Put the rest on the bottom. And on our second one, we get... Mastery of the Way and Magmatic Insight. Reasonable. Kind of getting there. And we'll just pass the turn. So hopefully we stay alive for a turn or two. Double Mastery of the Way is pretty sweet. See what our opponent has up their sleeve, though. Thought Seize. What are they going to thought seize from our hand? They go with the anger. Well, now I guess we just double magmatic insight. Or, sorry, double mastery of the way. Still get blown out a little bit by Dramoka's command. Not bad. Then we can... I think we might make Magmatic Insight just because that sets us up for a dig. And we already have another Tormenting Voice. Ooh, and it also drew us a Clash of Wills, which is pretty sweet. Clash of Wills means we can potentially counter an Elspeth if our opponent doesn't have an untapped land. Yes, we are getting there. So we'll Clash of Wills to Elspeth. Anger. So now I think we just, what are we looking for? Ways to win the game. I guess we double Tormenting Voice, Pitching Battlefield Forge. Land, Jeskai Charm. Alright. Now we'll just play a land. Go back up to 10. Pass the turn. Discard Goggles. We have the Mind Swipe at the ready. But instead we will just dig through time. So we're looking basically for our Pearl Lake Ancient to close out this game. Uh, ooh, Mastery of the Way is actually, that does it. So we'll take, uh, Dig and Mastery of the Way. It doesn't really matter, because we're going to win right here. Untap. Double Mastery of the Way. <laughs> Comboing off, sort of. If we take a Magmatic Insight, we could, uh, no, we couldn't have. Yep, same targets, so... Yeah, that's a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Cool. So, I definitely like this version more than I like the Mardu version. The Mardu ver version has some really sweet things. But... This version just seems more powerful. So we get to bring in Disdainful Strokes... Maybe another Mind Swipe. Go down a couple Jeskai Charms and a Wild Slash. And maybe we'll bring in Volcanic Visions as well. That seems like a nice catch-all sweeper. And we'll try it like that, see what happens. Alright, back here with Game 2 versus Abzan with our Jeskai Goggles deck. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I don't think we have to make Matic Insight yet. We can wait another turn. Not too worried about getting Thought Seize here. Duress, okay. Okay. Takes the Roast. Probably a good choice. Well, do we want to make Matic Insight now? What are we hoping to draw? Lands? Eh, we can wait another turn. If we ever get Goggles going, Magmatic Insight's going to be awesome. Fleece Main. So we would like to find blue mana. Well, now I guess we're going to Magmatic Insight and hopefully hit a blue source. Oh. Oh, uh, that was really, really bad. So now we're kind of in a lot of trouble. Unfortunately. Magnetic Insight is a cruel mistress. And an offensive. Well, that's a blue source. I guess we just have to pass the turn and put something on top of our opponent's library. Probably Anafenza. I don't know. I guess we can put Fleece Main. We have to spend a lot of life to do it, though. Uh, we still need more blue mana. All right, uh, white, blue. Ouch. Uh, put fleece main on top of our opponent's library. Take four from Anafenza down to eleven. Siege Rhino would be super bad. Uh, yeah, we're just dead. We can't do anything. I mean, we're not literally dead, but figuratively, we are dead. Oh, man, not enough lands. I think we're de our deck is set up about how we want it, though. Our opponent's obviously playing a ton more discard, bringing in the duresses and such. But what can you do? Well, we have multiple angers in the mana to cast them. Alright, pass the turn. Ooh, Clash is sweet. I don't mind Clash. This, uh... I don't even know if we want to counter... a two-drop, though, since we can anger. I kind of think the answer is no. We want to wait and see if we encounter like a an offensa or something, or if our opponent plays another fleece main, then we can anger, and anger will be awesome. So we'll see. What does our opponent have? Uh, we might just counter basically any 3-drop. Yeah, we're definitely countering Anafenza. And then we can back that up by angering away the Fleece Main. And we're fueling our digs. Do we want to wait another turn? I think we just anger here so we don't take more damage. Play an island. See what our opponent has. Another tap land. Now we'll probably. Our opponent thoughts use this. I wonder what they'll take. I would probably take. Uh, that's tough. Probably dig is the right choice, although tormenting voice is also threatening since that fuels the graveyard for dig and filters. We'll be interested to see what our opponent takes. D they do go with the dig. Well, I guess we will just play Swiftwater Cliffs and... 
Hmm, do we want a tormenting voice? I think we're gonna tormenting voice pitching anger. Magmatic Insight isn't great without a land, but Mastery of the Way could be good. Depending on what our opponent has. Uh, if the answer is nothing... Well, I guess we just cycle this Mastery and get in a little bit of damage. <laughs> Another Magmatic Insight wasn't exactly what we were hoping for. Now we're in this awkward position where our hand needs lands because uh, we want to be able to cast this Volcanic Vision, getting back Dig. At the same time, we want to be able to discard lands to Magmatic Insight. Well, we will certainly play Goggles. Now, more than anything, we want to land because we can draw four with Magmatic Insight, which should solve all our problems. Fleece Main. Just monstrous right away. Okay. That makes sense. There's land. So we are just going to Magmatic Insight. Draw four. The power of the goggles. And... Hmm. I think the way we win this game is... Volcanic Visions back Mastery. Yeah, so we can just play Swift Water Cliffs and pass. So we can Volcanic Visions back Mastery. That wins the game on its own. We're at a high enough life total where that should be fine. We just don't want to get it to rest or something. Ooh, Disdainful Stroke is actually pretty good. Well, I guess we just Magmatic Insight again for now. Magmatic Insight, draw four. And what do we get? Land, 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 Jeskai Charm. Hmm. I think we'll just play Swift Water Cliffs. Leave up Disdainful Stroke and Jeskai Charm. Discard a land. So I think we're just going to try to burn our opponent out, basically. Seems to be the path we're on. Alright, so we will Jeskai Charm our opponent's face. And... Hmm. Well, I guess we can just Magmatic Insight again. Magmatic Insight pitching Forge. And what do we get? Um, land, land, Magmatic Insight, Howl of the Horde. So... Guess we play another tap land. And just pass the turn and play Pearl Lake Ancient. If our opponent has removal, that's fine. I wouldn't I don't know how much removal they can really leave in. Could our opponent leave in some removal? Hero's Downfall. Yep. That's acceptable. One, two, five, six, seven, one, two. Well, I don't know if this play wins us the game, but... It's going to be sweet. It's because we can Howl the Horde, which copies Howl the Horde. Uh, 
and then we can treasure cruise. If we draw a our other master uh, master of the way, then we just win because we're gonna have a million cards in hand. Triple cruise, draw nine. <laughs> Uh, lands. Cruise number two. Stuff. Cruise number three. Do we draw anything worthwhile? No. One, two. Hmm. How do we want to do this? We need to not die. I guess we can Magmatic Insight once. Because that still gives us some mana if we draw a Master of the Way. And Mind Swipe. Alright, so we will play a tapped land that gains us a life. And I guess we just... Do we want a Tormenting Voice? I don't think it matters. We'll just pass the turn. Discard a bunch of cards. In like uh, land, land, land. Wouldn't mind saving a land for next turn. Land, land, and I guess we can discard one tormenting voice. So we're going to drop down to three here. But I don't think our opponent has reach that so can kill us. We only have 17 cards left, so this dig is going to see much of what's left in our library. Alright. Blue, blue. Colorless, colorless. Actually, no, we don't want to exile that. Blue, blue. Colorless, colorless. Dig through time. Exiling all these lands. We find our Master of the Way. There it is. Master of the Way. And I guess it doesn't even matter. Um, guess we'll just take Anger. Put the rest on the bottom. Now we get to double Master of the Way to close out the game. So this represents what we have 9 and 10, so oh, only 19 damage. Not bad. If we had drawn that on our triple treasure cruise turn, that would have been sweet. Do they have double Dromokos Command? No, only one. So the copy will still get them. Our opponent's going to try to flip them protector, get back Dromoka's command, but then we will counter the second Dromoka's command. Good play by our opponent, but it's going to be for naught because we have the mind swipe. Interesting game. Maybe we should just completely focus on Master of the Way as our win condition. Yep, there's Dromoka's command, and then this one gets countered. Mindswipe saves the day.